Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with the CEO from True Precious Metals, Joel Freudman. How are you today, Joel? I'm doing great. Thanks, Tracy. Joel, I'm going to hit you with a different type of question here. I know you're also an M&A expert, so can you talk to me about the climate for M&As in the resource sector with the volatility of the market presently? Despite the fact that the market's been crazy and gold prices are down, it's actually an ideal environment in which to consider M&A opportunities. You have companies that are running out of money, especially in the mineral resource sector, which fortunately true is not. And you also have companies sizing up how they can scale to attract market visibility and attention. And so that's certainly something that's on my mind pretty frequently. With all the market volatility recently, Joel, I know I found myself calling my IA and saying, what do we have in my portfolio in gold? So I know a lot of investors are looking at the gold market presently. So can you tell me about True Precious Metals' recent drilling, drilling program at Golden Rose? It's still early days in terms of us getting results back. But I am pleased to say we have gold. We have more gold than was there before, which is a great start, of course. We released two holes out of a 22-hole program. Both of them had meaningful gold intercepts. In turn, for, for those of you who like numbers, you know our best intercept was about 10 meters at just over two grams a ton. That's a decent hit of medium-grade gold. There were also other intercepts in those drill cores. So it, that's also, again, only two holes out of a 22-hole program. It's at our Woods Lake Gold Zone, where there, we know there was already some gold before. And so now we're just waiting for the lab to come back with the remaining results, which we expect in batches over the next couple of months. I was talking to some investors in an investment club yesterday, and I dropped your name um, just because I was preparing for this interview. And they immediately said to me, hey, what's the market cap and how much cash does Joel have in the bank? Can you talk to those points for us, please? Our market cap right now is around $10 million. And actually, as of September 30th, which was our last public numbers, we had just under $5 million in cash in the bank. Now, of course, we've spent some of that on doing this drilling program at Golden Rose, but we still have millions in the bank, which is a great cash position to be in. Something very intriguing about True Precious Metals, which our investor intel audience may or may not know, is that you've done everything backwards. Instead of starting with retail, you got all the institutional investors interested first, and now you're marketing to retail. Is that, would that be accurate? I mean, sure, we did, uh, we did both retail and institutional financings last year. The most recent one was in June, which was an all institutional round. That's where Eric Sprott came in as a shareholder, as well as a couple of different flow through funds. So we, you know, we have a large institutional component in our shareholder base. And our second largest shareholder is TSX listed Altius Minerals, who optioned us the Golden Rose project. So, you know, we've got well over a quarter of the shareholder base is institutions. And I think at a 10 mil market cap for a junior exploration company, it's a very good position to be in with that kind of long-term support. Well, and with everything that's going on right now, can you tell us where you're planning on taking True Precious Metals in 2022? Absolutely. Uh, we're excited for, very excited for 2022. We're still waiting for drill results as I've discussed. So we're going to get a handful of drill results and batches over the next two-ish months or so coming out of the lab. And on a corporate level, and exploration level, I think we're well set up. We're, we're already working on our budgeting process across multiple areas of the organization, including most importantly, our exploration plan. We're laying out a roadmap for the next six months and year, and both in terms of budgeting and exploration plans. And we have a very good handle on what we're looking to do at Golden Rose to build value in the company and at the project, both in the near term and over the rest of the year. And really we wanna develop both Golden Rose as well as True as an organization, into a turnkey project and turnkey operation where it might look enticing to acquirers. Thank you so much, Joel, for joining us today from True Precious Metals. Thank you, Tracy, for having me. And I appreciate everyone who took the time to watch the video.